control Charles Barkley. They could control LeBron James. They can control Jay Z and Beyonce. I know you, man. But they can't control me. But if the devil's in the details and I'm satanic, about to take over your. I make sacrifices. I've been balling ever since. What's up, family? Welcome back to UTL TV. And today, y'all know I had to get my conscious perspective on this Drake and Doja Cat situation. You see, they dropping on the same day, September 22nd, which is a very spiritual time. You know what I'm saying? It's a moon harvest. And in my last video, I was breaking down about Doja Cat. I explained how she and Drake both are agents and groomed for the industry to push certain agendas. They both come from Jewish mothers. Therefore, they are able to carry on the bloodline of their people. Because if you are familiar with the biological structure of the human body, you know that most of your genetics come from your mother. And another thing, both their fathers were close to the industry. I knew that, I knew that something was coming between those two, you feel me? Because of the simple fact, they are two of the biggest stars in the, in the industry right now. Two of the biggest stars in the industry that's buzzing. Drake with the All the Gods uh, album coming out, which really means All the Gods. Pay attention, man. And along with Doja Cat and her Demonic Spider album named Scarlet. And we already broke down about Scarlet being the, um, the mother of abominations. You feel me? Um, the, the mistress of Satan himself. You know what I'm saying? I broke that down in the last video as well. And if you hit to astrology, you know that they are releasing these albums during the moon harvest, like I told y'all, so that they can harvest the energy from the masses. The moon affects your emotion, right? And emotion is energy in motion. And with it being a moon harvest, they will be using the powerful frequency of music to draw in your energy by using low vibrational beats and blasphemous demonic lyrics. You feel what I'm saying? Pay attention. They are here to sway and hinder the souls of man. What did Drake say? I'm here to with nigga souls. You gotta know. It's probably because I'm from the snow. My heart is cold. Them is not just rhymes. He telling you what's up. Oh, you gotta know. I'm here to fuck with nigga souls. My heart is cold. Oh, you gotta know. I'm here to fuck with nigga souls. My heart is cold. Come on now, pay attention. These artists are high level occultists using quantum physics to manipulate matter. What is matter, energy, protons, neutrons? These are some of the fundamental building blocks of nature. That's why I always encourage y'all to get into physics, particle physics, quantum mechanics, all that. This is how you defend yourself against the Hollywood psyops. Protect yourself against these spells being casted broad and far across the land. Pay attention, you feel me? This is all guys doing, man, you can't plan it. But if the devil's in the details, then I'm satanic. Details, then I'm satanic. And I'm convinced. I make sacrifices, I've been balling ever since. We seeing so many. Why you think they call it a broadcast? Cause they are casting spells through the media. Who is the media? An ancient Greek goddess that used to cast hallucination spells. You feel what I'm saying? Pay attention. Do your research. And they and they and through the media they use in puppets like Drake and Doja Cat. And if you have any kind of discernment, you know that Drake has been pushing this satanic agenda for years now. I remember when I when I heard that song Sacrifices. I knew right then and there he had sold his soul. And around this time, I was heavy into Gematri and, and Drake come on, like wrote this, January 21. Sorry, girl, I gotta run. I'll be back a couple months. Kendall turned 21, was up the street with 21. Why did he say, why did he, you know what I'm saying? Why did he write the song on January, January 21st? Because 121 in Gematri is blood sacrifice. Pay attention. Not to mention, he said 21 three times consecutively. 21 times three is what? 36. Three times three sixes, right? Pay attention to the numerology at all times. Not to mention that six God 
equals 336 in reverse Sumerian reduction as well. Pay attention. What Rick Ross say uh, in, that, in that Freemason song? I embark on life. My path is all math. I'm going to continue to let y'all know what's up, man. He's referring to, to the supreme mathematics of the universe. This is how you tap into the astrological side. You feel me? It's all numbers when you get to the meat and potatoes and all this stuff. You feel me? Why do you think Drake sacrificed his friend 50 at the age of 33 by two masked gunmen? Then Drake Drake dropped the album, uh, Dark Some. I forgot the name of the album, man. Y'all put it in the comments. But right after, when he wearing a ski mask on the cover, you feel me? Kind of like the gunman who took out his friend, subliminally letting us know his involvement. Allegedly, you know, so we're gonna put it allegedly on there, but not to mention his name Drake equals 33 in reverse reduction cipher as well. Pay attention, too many coincidences, man. Too many. Remember, I was mentioning the uh, the number 36. Well, Drake will be 36 when this album is released. You feel me? Just like his first name, Aubrey, Aubrey equals 36 in reverse reduction. Also, Toronto equals 36 as well. And I personally feel like there's a blood sacrifice coming because Doja Cat and Drake both share that 121 in their birthdays. And you can excuse the zero when dealing with Gematria. They hold no numeric value at all. And when you do that, delete the zero, you will see the match. And before we get out of here, I want to mention the fact that Doja Cat is 27 years old. So she owes a sacrifice, so she will become a sacrifice. You feel me? Because in Gematria, 27 equals what? Sacrifice in a reduction cipher. And at her party, she had the whole Masonic thing with the all seeing eye and the pyramid and the, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, hey, they had the mask and everything. You feel me? They be putting it right in our face bypassing the karma and y'all wonder oh why well, well how can they continue to do this how can they continue to do this because they're not breaking any universal laws because they are telling the people of the land what is going on and we are accepting it you get what i'm saying they are bypassing the karma they you we can never say they didn't tell us we can never say they didn't show us what was going on because they did they put it in the tv they put it on the phones they put it in the music, they constantly told us and told us and told us. Just a lot of us don't have that discernment and, they, and can't look past this third dimensional matrix and this outside of that bubble that they constructed around you mentally and spiritually. So it, it a lot of this stuff sounds way off to people. It sounds like a conspiracy to people, you feel me? But even in the Bible, it speaks of... of uh, of people being sacrifices and these uh, certain individuals sacrificing their kids and their firstborns to, to Moloch and these reptilian people, you know what I'm saying? And, and even in the Bible, it states, and I always say this to you, to the Christians, even in the Bible, it states that call us conspiracy theorists and all oh, the sacrifice stuff. No, nah, that's real. That's why I tell the Christians in the Bible, what it say? Um, he told Moses, and go tell the people and say to the people of Israel, you know what I'm saying? For those who uh, sacrifice their, their children to Moloch shall be put to death. You know what I'm saying? And those of the land who who turn their eye against this, basically for the people who don't do nothing about it, like y'all see it going on, y'all choose to turn your eyes against it, y'all don't see it, whatever, then y'all should be put to death as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, this is... This is sick what's going on, man. And it's time for us to kind of start canceling these guys out, man, and start calling them out for what's going on, man. And and, and putting this putting it right in their face. You feel what I'm saying? They they they'll be forced to have to stop if we stop supporting it. So I'ma keep on teaching, man. And, and it, all the other teachers, we're gonna keep on and keep on beating this into the masses and because they got a stronghold. These are warlocks and, and witches we're dealing with. So they got a stronghold. A spell has been casted over our youth and over our women and, and over, over our young boys and men that's out in the streets. You feel me? They believe in this. You feel me? So they pushing this agenda, not knowing that it's, they're being hypnotized, man, and, and, and led astray. 
But that's all I want to say, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. Support the channel, man. Uh, turn me up some, man. Share the content. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. They deleted one of my pages, but we back up and running, man. Ain't no slack on it, man. UTL TV, I'm out.